New Orleans own John Batiste scored six Grammy nominations today, including for Album of the Year. As Ashland Brothers reports, the Batiste family has a rich history in music. There's nothing that John Batiste is going to do that I'm going to be surprised with. The already five-time Grammy Award winner is looking to add six more Grammys to his collection. So what's next, John? It's already won an Oscar. It's already won a Golden Globe. So what's next, John? Damon Batiste couldn't be prouder of his cousin John Batiste. Nominated for Album of the Year, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, Best Pop Duo Group Performance, and Best American Roots Performance. These nominations stem from his latest album, World Music Radio. Last year, Batiste received 11 nominations. He won five, including Album of the Year. He was the first African American to win Album of the Year when he won it in 16 years. What if he wins it again? <laughs> what does that say, you know, to the youth? To Metairie, man, to Kenner, to Jefferson Paris, that that kid is winning the highest award in music. John is kind of taking it to another level and giving us some pride being from down there. He cherishes the times they've played together. You see, the Batiste family's roots run deep in the musical realm. The family have been musicians since, you know, David Batiste and the Gladiators, the Batiste brothers, but John is now being awarded, you know, on the highest level. Damon says the Juilliard grad is the real deal. He's always stayed true to himself and is a constant example of what you can be if you work hard. John uh, is, a, is a replication of something that's good and beautiful. And beyond Batiste, Louisiana has a strong presence on the Emmy nominations list with New Orleans native P.J. Morton nominated for Best Traditional R&B Performance, Samantha Fish for Best Contemporary Blues Album, Lauren Daigle for Best Contemporary Christian Music Performance, Song and Album, and Mr. Sip for Best Traditional Blues Album. Back to you.